Welcome and congratulations on taking the first step toward giving your child a truly exceptional schooling experience. Like many parents, I'm sure you are horrified right now at the thought of putting your child into a public school system, a system that unfortunately is degrading towards children, degrading towards your parental rights, and integrating a very questionable common core curriculum, even at the lowest levels. So you're looking for something different. You're looking for an alternative. And luckily, we do have options as parents. For me, I chose Montessori Discovery School to put my daughter into when she was two years old. I myself am a Montessori graduate. I went through the system until I was 12 years old. And I always tell my parents that, that is the best parenting decision they ever made for me. To this day, I look back on my Montessori experience with nothing but the fondest memories. It's given me a really fundamental core system that still benefits me today in terms of how I approach learning, how I approach new activities, and really how I approach the world in general. So if you'd like to learn more, please keep listening because I have a lot to say about this, not only the school system, but this particular Montessori. So if you're unfamiliar with a Montessori education, one of the core tenets of the system is that it moves from concrete materials to abstract ideas. And that is based on just normal human development. So in the younger years, all of the classroom is very particularly built around these learning materials so that the children can play with and touch and feel and taste and hear everything in their environment. And there is a very logical progression from those materials to more and more abstract concepts. So for example, you might have them, let's say, learning to read. Well, one of the first things that they'll do when introducing letter work is there are sandpaper letters. So the children can actually use their fingertips to trace the letters and get it in their body, in their system, what it feels like. And then eventually they move to a pen and paper. And eventually they understand, oh, this correlates with this sound. And this, so really for them, it doesn't feel like they're sitting down and learning anything. In fact, it just feels like they're exploring the world and coming to understand these concepts in a way that is just seamless and enjoyable and creative and really brings out the best in each of them. My own daughter, who's now seven, has been with MDS for the past five years since she was two. And her experiences there have been outstanding. Even when she had her own uh, learning issue, she was slightly dyslexic. She had a hard time learning to read. The teachers worked with her from year to year at her own pace and with me as well so that in tandem, we were helping her out, but never making her feel pressured or uh, negative about the whole experience. It was very difficult for her. Now she's doing great, but for a while in there, she really had to take it slowly. And I knew that eventually there would be a leap in her development, and there was, but I feel, and I'm sure that at, an, at a public school system, they would not have given her the attention that she needed to really work through that and do so in a way that she never felt like, oh, I hate reading, this is too hard, I'm never gonna be able to do it. My biggest fear with that experience, of course, was that she would end up hating to read. She would associate it with all of these negative feelings. And because of the way it was handled within the school system and always in consultation with me, we were able to get through that period of her development without any kind of negative impact on her. She never lost any kind of self-worth. She never felt like she was stupid, nothing. They took it at her own pace. And that really is one of the most dramatic benefits of being an MDS student, is that regardless of what issues come up within your child, every child learns at their own pace. It's always different. And the school system understands that, respects it, and works with you to overcome whatever issues there may be. Now, as a parent, one of the fundamental reasons that I chose a Montessori education over a traditional education for my daughter is really the idea of how I wanted her to feel when she was at school. What was the outcome that I really wanted to project onto her towards learning? And that really came down to respect 
in my home, I am very respectful towards my daughter and she's very respectful towards me. And that is a culture that we cultivated here within our house. And I wanted that to extend to her schooling experience. The last thing I wanted was to place her in an environment where she felt belittled, um, like she wasn't really valued as a human being and where she wasn't allowed to express herself um, in whatever creative ways she wanted. I didn't want her stuck in a chair all day long. I didn't want her having to sit there as a three-year-old listening to a teacher. Um, I really wanted her autonomy and her independence to be projected and to be embraced like I do at home. So it was really not even a thought to put her into the school system that reflected that. And you'll see from the moment you walk in, there's a huge difference. Children in a Montessori system are fundamentally at their core respected for who they are, where they are in their development. Now don't mistake that for not having rules. The classroom is actually very structured, but it's structured in a way that the children understand the rules, they understand that they have to respect each other, they have to respect the materials, uh, they don't run around like little crazy people, but they are given choices. They can do, they can pick and choose from whatever work that they feel, and they can do that work for as long as it interests them. So if they are really interested in doing uh, sensory work, let's say, they will continue doing that until they feel in their bodies and in their minds that they have learned what they need to learn. And the premise is that once they grasp within themselves whatever it is that was fascinating them about that material, it's time for them to move on. But until that moment, they're still working through the process. They're still learning something. They're still curious about it. And the Montessori system allows them to go through that natural learning inquisitive process so that learning really never feels like work. It never feels that way to the child. It just feels like they walk in and they explore and they grow and it really sets them up for a lifetime of enjoying learning and enjoying creating, which I think is something you really, there's no value for that. And unfortunately, in our school systems today, what I find and what a lot of parents around me find is that that creativity and authenticity and explorative, creative, curious spirit is just drained. It's systematically drained and, and beat out of them. And that just wasn't something that I was going to allow uh, my daughter to experience. So I really hope that after listening to me and evaluating your own core beliefs about how you want your child's education to reflect back onto them and what you want really to put your child into every day, what kind of an environment, what sort of people do you want them to be around, that you will go ahead and uh, fill out the little form below so that you can get in contact with me and we can go from there and give you a tour of the school, let you meet the teachers, um, give you a bit more understanding maybe about the system if you're still a little sketchy on what that means. And, uh, and I really look forward to hearing from you soon. So thank you so much. Bye.